Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! If you have some experience with Laravel, then you probably know about middlewares and how they work. Well, we do have something similar for Vue. In the Vue, middlewares are called navigation words and it is part of Vue Router and not Vue. Remember, Vue Router is the package that we installed a couple of videos ago. Now, before we take any step further, let me quickly fix a mistake that I did in the previous video. Now, these functions here should not be arrow functions, so simply change them. And this is something very simple. Actually, I can do something like this. I think it is much, much faster. Okay. And of course, we also need to remove the arrow. All right. So this is the fix. And now this has to work 100% without any errors. So we need to log in and make sure we get the token back. So let me open my console here. And I will go to application. So I will delete the expiration and the token. And I will start again from the beginning. So I will get an email from my database, from my users table. And I will log in. I have both projects, Laravel and Vue.js running. So I get the token and the expiration back. Now we are authenticated, but I do not want to see this page anymore, the login and of course the register page. Which for now we do not have code inside the register page, we do not have any kind of logic, but we will take care of that later. So I don't want to access these two pages when I am authenticated. So step one to enable guards is to use a meta field. So I will go inside routes.js and I will add a meta field for each of these routes. Now the meta field for login and register will be for visitors. So let me do that. I will go here, I will say meta for visitors and this will be true. So I will do the exact same thing for the register because, well, they do have the same meta field. Okay, now these two routes, according to the meta field that we have here, they are both for visitors. So now the next step is to go to the main.js file and perform some extra work for the second step. So here is where we create the navigation guard. I will start by saying router.beforeitch. And here we will say to, from, and next. And this is an arrow function. Oh, okay. So now this is called whenever a navigation is triggered. So whenever we try to go to another page, we will trigger a navigation guard. So to here is where we want to go. From is the current route and next is a function that must be called no matter what and we will take a look at it later. Now, each of these routes here is a route record. So this is a route record and of course this is a route record. So in order to check for meta fields for each of these routes, in route records we can use something like this, route.must. Now, to here is a route object and this is what we want to use for our case here. So what we really want to say here is that loop through each route and if the route that we want to go to, to navigate to, has the visitors meta field, so here I will say record, record dot meta dot for visitors, then what do we want to do here? Okay, so let's think about this. So the route that has this meta field for visitors, it means that the user is not required to be authenticated. So let's check if the user is authenticated, then we want to redirect the user somewhere, maybe to slash feed. So let's do this. If view.auth.is authenticated, then we want to redirect the user to feed. We do not have this route here yet, but we will create that in a moment. 
So this is where we use next that I told you earlier. Now, else, what do we want to do? Well, we continue the request, which means that the user can access the page that the user requested. So we can just say here, next. Also add next right here after this if here, so else, next again. Otherwise, our routing will not work properly. Now, by the way, uh, the reason why we do not say something like this dot view, sorry, this dot auth dot is authenticated here is because main.js that we are using this here is not a component. So yeah, we cannot really do it like this here. So this is why we do something like view.auth. Okay, so let's create a feed component with a template. So I will do it right inside the components for now. Maybe later we can move it. But for now, I think that inside the components folder, it is fine. So just create a feed.view file there. And what we really want to do here is to, maybe we can actually get rid of all of this here. And inside the template, I will have an h1 tag and I will just say feed. Let's also define the route. So another route here, path will be feed and the component is feed. Let's also import the component, import feed from, uh, it is actually just feed, no, it is components and then feed, perfect. Okay, so now we are authenticated because we do have token and expiration. And if we go to slash login, you can see that we are redirected back to the feed, which is good. And if we go to slash register, again, the same thing. And all this happens because this is what we are actually defining inside the main.js. This is our navigation guard here, and it does exactly what we need. If the user is authenticated, then please do not show the login or the register components, which are, of course, the pages. Just go and redirect the user to the feed page. Right, so this is what we say here. However, if we log out, so if I delete this, and this is our logout for now, uh, so if I log out, you can see that we still can have access to this feed here, right? And this feed page should not be accessible to not authenticated users. So if I go to login, we can do that. If I go to register, again, we can do that. But for the feed, well, we are not authenticated. So feed should be available only for authenticated users. So let's quickly do that. In the routes.js, I will define my meta field. So I will just say here, meta for auth. And this will be true. And inside the main.js, I will just modify this navigation guard here a bit. So I will copy this if here and Below here, we will have an else if, so else if. And we also have to add the i there. And all we have to do is to change uh, for visitors to for alf. Okay, so if here we will say the user is not authenticated, then redirect the user to the login page. Otherwise, continue with the request as you normally would do. So if I go back to this and we try to access feed, you see that we are now redirected back to the login. And this happens because we are not authenticated. However, if we authenticate, and actually before I authenticate again, let me do something very quickly. I want to redirect the user to the feed page right after we set the token. So right here, I will say this dot router dot push and then slash feed. So this is very simple. After we authenticate to the system and we set the token, so this is our authentication, then we redirect the user to the feed page. And this is how you pretty much do redirections in JavaScript with Vue.js, of course. So let's do this again. So let's authenticate. I will copy the email, paste it. The password is secret, login, and look at this. We are now authenticated and we are redirected back to the feed. And of course, if we try to access login, nope, we cannot do that. Register, again, no. So let's again log out from the system one last time. So if I go to feed, 
you can see that we are directed back to the login. Okay, so now time to display some products in the feed page that we just created in order to buy something. So in the next video, we will use Laravel to create some products and Vue.js to display them inside the feed page that we just created in order to do some shopping.